This is Jean-Pierre from Javelin showing you a few tech tips on how to import and use your CMM data files in SOLIDWORKS Inspection. If you're using a professional version of SOLIDWORKS Inspection, you will have a CMM data import window to the right. This will allow you to import your CMM files such as this PCDMS file. I am now working with the PCDMS file, but you can see that I can go to settings and create any template for any coordinate measuring machine. Next, I will ask SOLIDWORKS to auto assign my dimensions to, to the characteristics. In this case, I don't have consistency with the item number, so I'll ask it to filter by type, nominal value, and, and tolerance. SOLIDWORKS inspection will then go through my CMM data and assign it to the right characteristics and perform the inspection as well. Some of the characteristics may not be found, so I can always right click and ask it to find the CMM data using a different filter. Or I can go to my CMM mapping and filter by type. In this case, I'm looking for a profile and then I will assign it to, to the selected characteristic. Let's do that to the last dimension and we'll change the filter to perpendicularity. You can see that SOLIDWORKS inspection has performed the inspection for these dimensions. If we're working with different with multiple instances of the same part, all we have to do is add more files such, a, such as the C2 and C3 files. And SOLIDWORKS inspection will now perform the same process to inspect the two new parts. We will end up with different columns for different parts. I hope this tech tip was beneficial. Please feel free to forward us any of your questions about SOLIDWORKS inspection as well as any CMM data files that you would like us to work with.